morning everyone hello welcome back to my channel um, today is Sunday and um, I'm actually on my way to church I am uh, I have to teach this morning so um, I haven't done anything with my plant babies just yet but um, I did um, find out that some more of them need some water over here so um, when I get back from church I will show you guys what I have to do all right love you guys See you later. Okay, you guys. So, um, it is about 9 o'clock p.m. on Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Lord have mercy. <laughs> on Sunday. And um, so, I'm doing more plant maintenance. And I came to check on some more of the babies here. And I just found out that this, this beauty here, she is actually thirsty. She needs some water. So, um, what I did was I grabbed my trusty handy moisture meter here and she is dry you guys so what I'm going to do since I am standing here right now I still have my jug of water here and um, if you notice that her her drainage thing is right here I'm gonna pour some water in here and hopefully it doesn't this this will be my first time watering her so um, I'm just going to pour this water in here the rest of this water and hopefully it's enough and um, I'm just going ahead and pour that in there and hopefully it doesn't spill over yeah so I'm gonna turn this light off because there we go so these babies right here um, they're gonna need some more water too look at this you guys I've never been able to do this I've never been successful but look at this you guys OMG I am just stoked you guys look at this and this is a um one of my spider plant babies here oh my gosh look at this but um, she runs out of water very quickly because they're such small vessels so they run out of water the water line is here and I just put the water in I want to say maybe a day or so ago and so now she needs to be refilled and so does she look how fast and I have to rinse this algae off because it's algae you guys will get on the leaves I'm sorry on the roots and suffocate the roots so let's take them to the sink and let's get them taken care of alrighty so I just have here some um, distilled water I just happened to get it from my local grocery store which is cup foods and um, so there are great benefits to having and using distilled water it's better for your plants because um, it doesn't have all the minerals and the and the other uh, things in there that could actually harm your um, your uh, roots and your leaf tips this comes from either the water or being close to the light bulb over there so um, okay I was able to get everyone back in their pot, uh, pot spots <laughs> so I'm excited about that um, you guys let me know if I should go ahead and repot these beauties real soon or just let them grow some more they definitely need more space so um, I'm going to no water yet so I'm going to water her a little bit more and then I'm going to show you guys how I missed how I missed my plant babies now I don't do it often I do it often but I don't do it every single day so um, that'll be coming up as well hey, you guys so doing a walkthrough is like I like I normally do um, I found more plant babies that needed um, care and maintenance so I'm just going to quickly um, run through each of them. I'm going to really describe everything that I'm going to be doing. So I don't want this to be too long. But um, as you can see, this one is sort of dying off. Um, I don't want to take this part off, but I will take this part off here. She needs that. So she'll be a single leaf and she's thirsty. So we'll get her watered. And then going through here. This is another new baby that I got. Um, I've been so busy that I haven't been able to film the video that I wanted to film for you guys. But all, a lot of these plant babies are new. So I'm super excited to have them in my plant family. And she's thirsty as well. And I'm so happy to have them in my plant family. This is an old one that I've already had. I've watered this one already. But you know what? It seems to be dry and dying still. I'm going to try one more time to uh, save this little one and if she doesn't then I just have to unfortunately get rid of her don't want to but 
It seems like she doesn't want to survive. Maybe it's too big. I don't know what's going on. Let me check, as a matter of fact. Oh, okay, so. It looks to be... It's dead. So, and that sucks. I hate to lose plant babies. So, yep, this is why I check daily. This is what I do. This is why I do my things every day. So what I want to do is because it looks like it still might be a little bit of life, I may just cut and um, propagate. Looks like maybe these might be nodes, a couple of nodes that I could try to propagate. So I'm going to try to do that and see what I can get from that. Hey you guys, so I just took her and cut her off and stuck her in here where I have um, clippings of a couple of ZZ plants. I want to show you this too, you guys. Look at this. This is some um, ZZ plant clippings that I was taking off. I took off my um, my mother plant that was dying. Um, I don't know. I hope this isn't mold or mealybug. And it to me, it kind of looks like mealybug. I'm trying to get it to focus, you guys. I don't know what's going on with it. But, um, yeah, it's been growing roots, but um, it's just few and far in between. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to treat it. And I'm going to make sure that um, I'm going to treat it in hopes that it's not mealybug. Ugh, that's what it looks like, though. Yeah, so. But, yeah, those clippings have been doing pretty good. So next we got this one. I'm going to put these two, and she's drinking up water already. So I'm going to put these two together. Parent, plant parent's job is never done. Never, ever done. <laughs> so there we go. So these two can share. Get them out of the way. Let them get some water. And then on to the next babies. And you guys don't mind my area over there. That's my little planting area. So this is my new baby right here. I just got her. Um, I wanted to show you guys in my plant haul video. But I just you guys who are watching this video uh, before the plant haul get, get a behind the scenes look. A quick little behind the scenes look. I'm going to trim off the dead leaves. And I googled on how to take care of her. And um, the care instructions aren't that hard. So I'm going to um, do the regular maintenance. I'm not going to, what is that, um, fertilize her just yet. I don't think she needs it. But I am going to check her because she's still pretty heavy. But it's because of her mix that she was shipped in. So I'm going to check her and see if she needs to be watered. All right, so I have my meter here. And it looks like she is dry. So I don't do it in just one part of the plant. I always rotate the plant or stick the meter in at a different angle because at different levels of the plant, she could still have moisture in her, but she's dry. So we're going to give her some water, and it looks like she definitely needs to be repotted because she has roots coming out the top, and she's okay on the bottom. So we're going to bottom water her. I'm going to try to keep down the fungus net population as possible so we're going to do about that much water there we go and then these two coming up right here you guys um pretty much know how I take care of my pothos and then um this baby here I forget what this is if you have the name of this uh, you guys please let me know um I'm going to cut the tips off I'm going to give her some water and then I might be done for the night you guys but um yeah this is what um this is what I'm doing for today. Okay, so these two babies right here are definitely in need of water. And even though I just recently watered them, they are in smaller pots. And they are in terracotta, so they dry out a lot faster. And they are tropical, so they do need that moisture. So you have to keep up when it comes to tropical plants not to overwater them but definitely not to underwater them because um, they will die very fast so let's get them watered get you some water and then we will go to you see how fast that water it should be coming out but it's not okay so yeah they're soaking up that water really good so we're going to get this precious watered and this one watered 
and then we're gonna go from there so as you can see the water is coming out very fast because they were very dry so the water basically ran right through them <laughs> but that's pretty much all you need you don't want to soak the roots and get them root rot and um, yeah so there you go she got a little bit out she got pretty much all of her water out so I'm gonna put them back in their places and I'm gonna get her watered and we're gonna keep going Alright you guys, so that will take care of the babies for tonight. I'm going to check this beauty here. And yep, she is good. Look at that you guys. <laughs> so she drunk up all of her water. And checking her moisture level, she is good to go. So she was very thirsty and I'm glad I did catch it in time. So um, yeah, that is it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video. I know it's probably a little bit longer than the last couple of videos. But um, I had a lot to do and I still have more to do. So things don't change in the daily life of a plant parent. <laughs> so um, yeah, there you have it you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, be blessed. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.